Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into the brand new LEGO Disney's Pixar's Lightyear set. This is set number 76830. This is the Zyclops Chase. It has 87 pieces and is retailing for $19.99 USD or $24.99 Canadian beginning on April the 24th. Now I was able to pick this up early from a Quebec site which is linked down below in the description for my Canadian friends. And... It's four plus set, so just keep that in mind as we go through here, but let's jump into things. So here is the Zyclops mech, and it's four plus, like you definitely see that with the legs. That is one giant piece there. Now these arms here were introduced from Ninjago, their Evo wave, and which is actually, or their core theme, sorry, and that's meant to be for like six plus, and it's cool. Like, I, I really like that piece. It does work really well, I think, for arm joints, um, and, you know, it, 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 it makes things fast for a Build, which is something I was reading in the description was that it's a fast build and that's very true like instead of taking time building legs building the arms it's fast for kids which makes sense like I have no problem with that the absolute horrible worst part of this set and you probably already can tell what I'm gonna say it's this piece I have no clue why they printed yellow on dark gray like look at the back here they've got that hood piece in yellow, I don't know what the thought process was of let's print that on dark gray and then look at what happened there. Actually, it's not even printed on dark gray. I'm looking. That's light gray. Like, that's how bad sometimes Lego's printing is. And it's so sad because I always go back to the number one thing that I go back to is the Buzz Lightyear from the Disney minifigure series. Having that printing on that purple head was perfect. Toy Story 4, horrible printing. Here, you've got yellow just printed onto light gray, and it's not working. So, that looks so bad. Honestly, if it wasn't for that, I would be more inclined to buy multiple of these, because I think this is what is making up Zerg's army, so I definitely can see the appeal of, like, having a lot of these. But, nonetheless, it is still a good mech, I think, for 4+. plus. Like, you get a toy feel for this. I love the head. I think that is a really cool print there. All, all of this is all print. This piece here is actually the exact same printed piece that is in the Zerg battle set, which we have a review up already on the channel if you want to watch that. You could swap it out to this other side and just remove it like that. And you can attach like this power battery there on that side. I'm not sure what that is, but Zerg has it as well. And uh, the arm, this one specifically has like this little ray gun. I, I don't really know, but uh, the legs can actually step and lift up and how is the posability here i could probably balance it come on no i guess not but you could have it stepping and uh yeah like looking at it from the back it's pretty complete like i like the hood piece included you've got some more hood pieces there on the top honestly i'm more tempted to just put a regular yellow one there because that's just so jarring. Here's the side build included, and it's almost meant to act like cover for them when they are shooting uh, at the Zyclops mech. Um, so that's kind of interesting there that they've got that. They've also got like this little box, which inside has like a walkie talkie. You've also got like almost like a wrench or a smaller wrench because you've got a bigger wrench there on the side. You've got a disc loot uh, shooter there on that side and an extra one stored there and again that's very uh four plus and over here on the side you've got this pole there the telescope pole not sure why you would have that there but uh you've got this spot here also i guess it could maybe work if you want to have like a, a bench but again they can kind of like duck behind here uh and have them sort of ducking behind cover against uh, the zyclops so small little side build so here is Buzz Lightyear, and it's very strange with this Buzz because instead of the hair color being what it actually is on the box here, if you look at that, you could see it is dark brown, just like what appears in the other set, the hair. So I don't know what happened there. I, I, I'd love an explanation on the LEGO Ambassador Network site. Uh, I'll ask someone, but yeah, very strange. Anyways, uh, the side arm printing, it is the same as Izzy's from the other set that we've already looked at from the Zerg battle. And uh, But this piece that they've introduced, I think it's fine. I think that down the line, like the Bad Batch torso, we're going to see this used in different themes. That's just a guess. But you could see here that we've got two studs on the back, of course, for the wings that aren't included in this set. Uh, but you can attach that. And uh, you've also got this 
little blaster. Not sure why they didn't use the Overwatch blaster like they did in the other set. Would have liked that for consistency. Let's take off the gear. So here's what he looks like without the gear on and his hair. He's got a really big smile. Then he's got a smirk on the back. You can see the back torso printing is so detailed. Same with the arm printing here. And looking on this side, you've got the Star Command logo there. Or Space Ranger, sorry. That's what that says. And then here, you've also got some really detailed leg printing and the feet printing. Like This is an excellent figure. And here is Izzy Hawthorne, and she looks really cool here. You'll see in a second uh, that she does have a face print underneath, but the leg printing, the torso printing, it's very, very detailed, and I love the shoulder printing there as well. Uh, using the Bad Batch piece that I was just talking about, I think this works really well. It looks great, and the helmet here that they've created is a really cool-looking mold, and I'd love to see this used for just... Other things, I don't know, like just other Star Wars, like side robots or things like that. I, I don't know, it just, it has a lot of potential here to be recolored. I, I think it looks really cool. And if I were to remove this here, you could see that she does have a face print underneath. And spinning it around here, she does have a smirk. Now, also included in the set is actually Bumblebee's hair from the LEGO DC minifigure series. And uh, you could see what she looks like there with that on. And removing that piece, you could see the torso printing underneath. It's extremely detailed. And same here on the back. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the LEGO Disney Pixar's Lightyear Zyclops Chase. And I think it's cool. Like, you're getting one of Zerg's minions. I think that's uh, the version in the movie of what we saw back in Toy Story 2. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this movie? I'm being too hard on this 4 plus set. And I'm just glad, honestly, that we aren't just stuck to 4 plus sets. Like, it's pretty great that we have those other sets. So, check out the Zerg battle. We will have a review of the spaceship on the channel very, very soon as well. So, look forward to that. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.